Alright guys, welcome back to Indulge with Sophie and today we're going to do Am I the Asshole? So I'm going to read you a story and I'm going to react to it. So here we go. Alright, here's another Am I the Asshole? Let's see. Am I the asshole for walking out of the airport when I saw my husband's mom standing there with her luggage? <laughs> I already know this is going to be some nonsense. Okay, <clears throat> I, female, 30, don't have the best relationship with my husband's mom. Since day one, she tried to make remarks and compare me to her. She then tried to get on my good side and started overly praising everything I do and sometimes even copying me. Like that one time when she literally dyed her hair purple just like mine and everyone pointed out how ridiculous she looked. She actually blamed me and accused me of trying to make a joke out of her. So anyways, my husband and I took two weeks off work to go visit some places out of the country. Thing is, I was the one who saved up and arranged for the whole trip. My husband was responsible for booking the tickets. My husband's mom wanted to come along and threw temper tantrums when I said no. She called, texted, sent people to talk to me into letting her come, even threatened to call the police and make some complaint up to get us to stay if she can't come. Wow, that's, that's crazy. My husband said that we should just take her, but I told him he was wrong to tell her about the trip in the first place. He gave me an ultimatum, said he wouldn't go if she can't come, and I told him I'd gladly call his bluff, which made him take back his words and say, fine, I will tell her to stop it because we won't take her. Things got quieter, suspiciously quieter. The day of the trip came and we got to the airport at 2 p.m. My husband was walking ahead of me and was looking left and right like he was looking for someone. Sneaky mother lover. I asked him, but he didn't respond. He led me to the waiting area and first thing I saw was his mom. <laughs> Standing there with her luggage. I would have been like, bitch. I froze in my spot. I felt a cold wave washing over me and I was fuming inside. Huh. She and my husband were hugging. That's when I quietly turned around and started walking towards the exit. My husband followed me while shouting at me to stop. He tried to stop me, but I told him off the harshest way possible. He tried to say I was overreacting that his mom was there anyway and that I should let it go and not mess up the trip for us. He already ruined it, first of all. I told him he and his mom could still go and I was going home. I went home and sobbed into my dog's fur for several minutes. Turned out he booked her a ticket without me knowing. An hour later he came home yelling and raging about how pathetic and spiteful I was to walk out and go home and ruin the trip last minute. I told him he caused this to happen. He said that I was being so hard on his mom and it was ridiculous. I refused to fight anymore but he kept on berating me and called my family to tell them that the trip was canceled and it was because of me. Wow. My family said I shouldn't have ruined it for myself and I should have sucked it up and done my best to enjoy. Did I really overreact? First of all, no. Secondly, it seems like this mom, the mother-in-law, his mom, thinks that her son is her man. Like, once you raise your child, you raise your son to become a man and to have a wife, and you're done. Your job is done unless he needs you. Leave that man alone. Let him go have a vacation with his wife, you know? I think it was extremely messed up of her husband to even think that it was cool. Like, obviously he knew it wasn't cool because he did some s sneaky shit. She needs to leave him. That's all I gotta say. Leave that man now. <laughs> All right, here on another Am I the Asshole? Am I the asshole for bringing my son-in-law's wallet to the restaurant when he conveniently always forgets it? <laughs> no. <laughs> my female 28 son-in-law, Amy, female 26, always comes to visit from out of town. She stays with us instead of a hotel and always wants to go to expensive restaurants. She always conveniently forgets her wallet or comes up with some excuse as to why she can't pay her share. She has implied that since I make much more money than her, I should be able to pay. No, not my husband should pay, but me specifically. I do make a fair amount of money, but not so much that I can treat someone every time that they come into town. Nonetheless, in the past, I've just paid the bill and asked her to pay me back. She never has. 
She made a reservation at an extremely re expensive restaurant last night, and before we left, I made it clear that I wouldn't be paying her bill. This is where I might be the asshole, and I'll admit, I got this move straight from an episode of Two and a Half Men. As we were leaving, her and my husband went to the car. I pretended I forgot something and went back inside. I found her wallet sitting right on top of her suitcase. I put it in my purse and went to the restaurant. When we were done eating, I asked for separate bills. She said no, we needed one bill because she forgot her wallet again. I reached in my purse and said, this wallet? <laughs> she was extremely furious. She said that I should have not touched or grabbed her wallet. So am I the asshole for taking her wallet and bringing it to the restaurant? No. No, you're not. I think that was very clever. I think that you put her in her place and that she knows not to mess with you next time. And for further notice, whenever she wants to go out to eat, just simply say no. Say no or you choose the restaurant and take her ass to Chuck E. Cheese or McDonald's. No, if she wants to choose these expensive places and not pay for it, no, honey. No. Okay, guys. Thank you for joining me on another episode of Indulge with Sophie with our Am I the Asshole? And make sure that you like, comment, share, subscribe. And also, you can send in your very own Am I the Asshole little inquiries. And we can answer them on here ourselves. So thank you for joining us. And we'll see you next time.